Sonny Gray has been outstanding in September. He'll be making his last regular season start. Don't let the eight and eight one loss record deceive you because he's having his finest year in his second year with the Twins. Second in the American League in ERA. Not going to be able to catch Garrett Cole after throwing a shutout last night and then third in all of baseball. So tremendous one two punch at the top of the rotation. Rookie Ryan Noda leads off for the A's and the one two a check another bender and this time he went on a breaking ball and Noda he's rung up. Yeah I got that as a check don't you. Yep. 55 of his 81 strikeouts against lefties have now come on that breaking ball. So that's what he goes to. Hitters are aware of that, but he still is able to get them to chase. Gelop will hit next. Up the Taylor, and then it dies on him, and it ends up in the grass, and it's going to be a base hit for Gelop. It looked like he thought this was going to carry to him, and it just kind of died and couldn't quite get it. So a one-out single, and now Brent Rooker. High fly right field looks harmless enough. They're on the warning track. Larnick makes the catch, firing the second base two away. Now Seth Brown. Tapper right side. Solano has an easy play to complete a scoreless first inning. Well, when you look at Louis Medina, you look at a scout's dream. You look at stuff. You look at ability to project some of this stuff playing at the major league level. Medina walks Castro with one out in the first. That'll bring up Donovan Solano. High in the air off to the right and drifting into the corner and Rooker might have a play and he's there he makes the catch crossing the foul line good play by Rooker because there's very little room down there in foul territory now Alex Kirilov runner goes and that's wrapped out to Rooker and he'll go to a slide and he makes a shoe top catch we're scoreless through one Shane Langoliers leading things off for Oakland in the second. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. A better breaking ball there. So Gray now against right-handed batters has used that sweeper to strike out 64 men. Now J.J. Blade, and he strokes one into right field. His first hit since August 13th with all that time on the I.L. Two away, and Blade goes to second. And now the shortstop, Nick Allen, coming up. See if the A's can get an early two-out run on Gray. And now the 2-0 pitch is swung on by Nick. Blooped over first down the right field line. That'll fall for a hit. Blade will score. And the A's have the jump on the Twins in the top of the second. It's one nothing Athletics. Nick Allen delivers a bloop single into no man's land on the right field line. Three singles for the A's. Now the game's first run, and here is Butler. Busted bat, and Castro finishes off the inning. A couple of singles, and the first run of the game for Oakland. The A's lead a one nothing bottom of the second inning. Nick Allen delivering the base hit. Early advantage for Luis Medina facing Matt Walner. Excellent changeup. First strikeout for Medina. And here's the one two pitch. Yeah, that is right down the middle. Ring him up. Perfect pitch. So Medina back to back strikeouts. That'll bring up Larnick. A couple of strikeouts in the second. Now a walk, and that'll get Farmer to the plate. Eight game hitting streak that has seen his batting average climb to 254. Could be an infield hit for Farmer. And so the inning will continue. Farmer with a 90 foot dribbler for an infield hit. First and second, two down. So the nine batter, Michael A. Taylor, standing in. That will end in the inning. Good job by Medina. And we're through two. It's 1 0 Oakland. Second time through now for this lineup. Gray will throw maybe four innings today, five max. Nice pickoff by Kirillov. And Gray is there to cover. That's how it's supposed to be done. Textbook. Absolutely perfect. Kirillov reads the hop. He gives himself a little more room to feel it, understanding at first base. You have the luxury of time and you have the luxury of the first base or the pitcher covering first base. A's by one for Zach Gilloff. Swing and a miss. And Sonny has his third strikeout with Kenta Maeda warming up in the Twins pen. Yeah, another one on the sweeper. Here's Rooker. And that'll wrap up the third inning for Sonny Gray. One run allowed and we'll see in a few minutes whether there's a fourth inning from Sonny. Four strikeouts on the afternoon through three innings and he's back out for the fourth in a one nothing game guys. And just missed inside so it's a walk. First walk issued by Sonny with two out in the fourth and that'll bring up the Ledmus Diaz. High fly right center field. It's got some carry right there is one to end the fourth inning. Four good innings for Sonny Gray which is one run allowed. Ryan Jeffers right handed hitter. Slow tapper third base tough play by the third baseman Diaz comes up throwing nice play. Wow had to barehand it and got Jeffers hustling down first base three up three down. So Kenta Maeda in a relief role in the expectation that it could very well be his role come postseason play because he has experience in this role. 20 relief appearances with the Dodgers and in the 20 relief appearance Kenta Maeda pitched 22 innings and gave up just three earned runs and a strikeout to start his 
fifth inning relief appearance. Top of the order with two down. No to bats, so for two. Well, that turned out pretty well. Maeda with a quick one, two, three, fifth with a couple of strikeouts. Farmer has the only twins hit. Little dribbler to the left of the mound as we're looking at it, and he got an infield hit right after a two-out walk. Rolls over on the changeup. Man, it's been an excellent combination, as you've mentioned, shooting from the outset, wanting to see this from Medina. He truly has delivered. So Michael leads here, though, works a walk, and that'll bring up Edouard Julien. If Butler can converge on it, it's going to actually bend all the way back to Balade. And another zero on the board for Medina. We're through five. One nothing Oakland. Five up, five down, and now a pair of walks. And Balade will have a chance to pad the Oakland lead. Popped up. And Walner coming in to end it. A couple of walks do no damage. A couple of scoreless innings for Kenta Maeda. If the offense can get something going with a third time through the order, another look, a little more experience. Castro with a walk and a fly to right. There's a drag bunt and a base hit for Willie Castro. It was up the third baseline last night, but this the classic drag bunt when a left-handed batter seemingly drags the bunt behind him as he leaves the batter's box. Here's Solano with a base stealer at first. Liner to left, the base hit. Castro will check in at second. So a bunt single, a line drive, and the Twins have something started here in the sixth. And that hit here a lot. So they're loaded up now with nobody out and Walner coming to the plate. Right man, right spot. Sharply hit, one out, and a double play, but a run scores. No run batted in. He hit the ball so hard, he still hit into a double play. And the game is tied. Third inning for Kenta Maedas has yet to give up a hit. He'll face the bottom third of the Oakland lineup. Two down for the young center fielder Lawrence Butler, who's 0 for 2 today. 0 and 2 on Butler. And the pitch, he struck him out, swinging on a splitter. And Maeda works a one, two, three, seventh inning. And a walk will load him up. Ursic has walked three men here in the seventh inning. And that means he'll face Solano with the bases loaded and two down. Got him! 99 with his 12th pitch of the at bat. And Ursic keeps Minnesota off the boards. They go to the top of the order for the fourth time with Ryan Noda as he gets a second look at Maeda. That is hit to right. Hello, and Redemption. Hit deep and hit out of here. Target field. Ryan Noda explodes on Kenta Maeda, and the A's are back ahead two to one. Who says good things don't happen to good people? The 16th of the year, and no doubt. Two and two. And there, strike three for Gallo. First out of the eighth inning. Good outing for Maeda, just one hit, the home run that started this inning. Four innings for Sonny Gray, three and a third good innings from Kenta Maeda. Now Louis Varland picks up the game. This was the intent all along to get Varland in the middle of an inning, just like you're trying to get Maeda accustomed to pitching out of the pen rather than starting. Now Varland, who started innings, now coming in in the middle. Two and two from Varland, just wiped him out, blew him away. 98 for a swinging strikeout, two down. Mentioned this yesterday, Glenn Perkins and I talking about it. Being able to miss bats as the game goes along, being able to get that swing and miss that all these relievers have down there. When you've got overpowering arms like they have, it, it sets you up well for a playoff run. Grounder, backhanded, Castro sets, and a nice stretch by Carolyn. Harlan finishes off the eighth inning, but the A's take the lead on the Nota home run. 2 1 Athletics, bottom of the ninth inning. Trevor May is 33 now, and he is the A's closer. Broke in in 2014 with Minnesota, and he did so against the Athletics on August 9th of that year. Now, Michael Taylor. Breaking ball backed up, got the inside corner for strike three. Back up breaking ball in a part of the play, freezes Taylor in his tracks. Edward Julian with two outs. Another 3 2 to Julian, and here it comes. And that is popped up. Out of the infield, and that'll do it. Trevor May gets the save. The Twins take the series two games to one and have played their last home game of the regular season here at Target Field. 